Hey, what's up? Haven't posted a video in a while and uh, found the perfect situation uh, just to share with all of you C store owners out there on, you know, why it's okay to ask for help. I mean, at the end of the day, that's really what it is. You're asking for help. Um, on a positive note, you know, a lot of C store owners are evolving. Start to see that food service is the way to go and spending a little money on equipment and doing some things the right way is the way to go. And, and I applaud you for that. You know, if you're a C store owner and in the past, you know, you've never really cared about food service. You've always just focused on lottery and cigarettes and you're, you're investing in food service. Congratulations. Um, I've been talking about food service being the, the key to the future of C stores since at least 2010. So we're 11 years in and past and you know, I'm finally starting to see that it's taking hold, which, you know, better late than never, I guess, at some point. But uh, there is going to come a day where late is never. Um, but I stopped in at a C-Store just a little bit ago, and uh, this is multiple situations where C-Store owners haven't consulted anyone outside of their very, very tight circle of people, and it's resulted in headaches. Uh, in particular, I, w I went into a C store and they had a three door freezer delivered. And hey, I commend you for spending the money. I commend you for investing. I commend you for for getting an adequate amount of space to operate food service. But what they failed to think about was when this freezer came in, whether on pallet or on wheels, it will not fit through the doorway to get it back into the dining, uh, the kitchen area prep area and that speaks to the heart of exactly why I'm making this video and say it's okay to ask for help um, I, I've helped a lot of C store owners look at uh, C store layouts look at different things and build C stores and you know I've even told some C store owners do not put your counters in until you get your kitchen equipment in don't it's gonna cause you a lot of headaches. Some listen, some don't. Some deal with the headaches and some don't. And you know, I didn't I didn't I don't know this C store owner very well that I'm telling you about, but what I do know is is they've got a headache in front of them. And the only way to fix it at this point is to get a ton of guys to come and try to move this thing and slide it through the doorway and then put the wheels on it or pay somebody to do it. Either way, it is a problem that they would not have to deal with if they followed people's advice and, and asked for help and worked through the process of how, how they're gonna get things into place. And, and you know, that's one thing that I do whenever I work with C-Store owners like you guys is I think first and foremost, what equipment do you need? How are we gonna get it in here? And then, and after I've thought about that, this next thing is, is now how does the kitchen flow? All right, so those are all important because if you don't get those things right, then you're only gonna cause yourself more heartache, more labor more labor costs, more concern, more problem. And, and that's what you don't want. You don't want problems, you don't want uh, headaches, and you don't want anything to hold up your ability to operate your food service um, deli that is going to hinder you making money and, and using your operation so that you can pay for it, right? So I wanted to make this quick video and I just want to say it is okay to ask for help. It's okay. You know, even if it's just simple advice, sending somebody a layout or sending somebody a photo or sending somebody a scenario and just saying, hey, what problems do you think I'm going to encounter in, in building this? You know, it's why I wrote the book, C-Store Secrets. It's why I'm writing C-Store Strategy, and it's why I'm posting these videos. I want to help you, and, and I don't charge for that. Um, if you reach out to me, if you send me a message, if I can get you an answer, I will get you an answer. If I can, I'll direct you to hopefully somebody that can. But stop jumping in and spending money that, that that's hard to let go of 
trust me, I ask sea store owners all the time to spend 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 thousand dollars with you. And I know it's hard. But when you spend that money with me to do food service, I want to make sure that you don't encounter headaches that are going to hinder your business. So kind of just past the five minute mark. I don't like to make these videos long, but you know, if I could summarize this entire video in in one simple statement. If you are investing in putting food service into your business and you don't know that much about food service, ask for help. Ask me for help or ask somebody for help that has experience so that if nothing else, you can save yourself headache and added costs that you won't have to incur simply by asking for help. John McMillan, Sea Store Secrets soon-to-be C-Store Strategies author. If I can ever do anything for you, please reach out. Have a great day.